Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It's Saturday evening and I wanted to take the opportunity to say thank you. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel, who likes the channel, who makes comments, who helps us be able to donate to the causes that we do um, on the Making a Difference videos. It just you know, I love being able to help people in that way and I'm so glad that we're able to share it because I think especially with the cost of living crisis going the way it's going, there's very many of us who used to be able to donate to various things who are having to tighten their belts now. So to be able to offer the opportunity for the channel to donate just by people watching a few adverts or liking a video is just huge so thank you so much to everyone who does that it's really really appreciated um as you will notice this is saturday night and i'm not at patrick's that is because after i <clears throat> went to grief today i came back and i was exhausted and i had a nap now normally my saturday afternoon naps are quite restorative Normally, you know, a, a wee quick hour and I'm done. Today, it was two hours and I felt rubbish because I haven't slept properly all week. So Patrick and I agreed I was not going to go through to Perth tonight. I'm just going to stay at home and veg and go bleh and relax in my chair and do pretty much nothing. And what I'm hoping for is that because there's much relaxation and I'm in my own bed that I will be able to get a decent night's sleep tonight and if I do I will go shopping in Perth tomorrow and then go and have breakfast with Patrick um, and generally just carry on from there so that is the that's the cunning plan whether it actually happens or not I don't know um, next on my list, I was looking about today after I came back from Creef and I have many, many onions. Many onions. So what I want to do with them is to dehydrate them. However, if you've seen videos of me trying to chop things, especially that one with the carrots, where it just drove me insane, you know that between my obvious lack of patience and the arthritic hands, Chopping a lot of stuff is not a good plan. However, I was very lucky. My mum had a food processor. I am embarrassed to say it took me until last year watching YouTube videos to know how to work the slicing attachment. But I do now. And this evening Kathleen is here for a while. So she's going to chop the onions into quarters for me so that I don't have to do that and then I can just put them in the food processor and then we'll dehydrate them because as you know I go through a lot of onions and just use the dehydrated ones and throw them in the slow cookers most of the time. So that's the next plan. My up and down stairs. Mm -hmm. Done that a few times. Did I do it very much today? No I did not. Do I feel guilty? No I do not. Um, thank you for all the comments yesterday saying, yeah, don't try and do too much this weekend. Yeah, that took me till this morning to realise, nah, it's not happening. Um, so there's not an awful lot happened today apart from going to Creef. Hopefully we'll be better organised tomorrow and I should be able to have onions dehydrating overnight. That is my plan. And the... The other plan that I was thinking, and bear with me with this one because I don't actually know where I'm going with this one. Um, when I go shopping, obviously there's only me here most of the time or Patrick and I. So we don't actually do a lot of bulk cooking or, you know, making things that are large. And I was having a thing. I wanted to make... Um, Frugal Queen in France, she made a chicken um, cheesy thing, thing. It was one of those cheap meals. And What's for Tea also made something like that. And I'm like, I want to make that. I want to do the chicken with the sauce, with the stuff. And 
that would last, that, that's at least probably six meals. And I'm like, well, that's a lot of meals to be making and freezing and, and stuff. So I need to invent a way to do smaller portions. And I don't just, I don't know if that's just by, you know, using a smaller pot, but then if you're using a smaller pot, how much chicken do you use? If you've got a tin of soup for the sauce, do you do that or do you just make a normal sauce? But portion control for when you're on your own or when there's only two of you, I think is a very big deal. And I know that when I was driving to Cleef today, the Radio 4 Moneybox programme was on, um, as I said before. And the woman who they were speaking to at the food pantry thing, um, she had said, she said, it's, it's only me, I'm on my own. And for supermarket packaging, there's a lot of food waste. And I don't like that. I prefer coming here and getting smaller portions. And I think that possibly just kept this because I had the thought I think last night and then that woman saying that made it go further so I need to try and invent a way or <clears throat> find out a way of doing things smaller smaller so that you know myself Patrick um, Kathleen anyone who's on their own or they're just a couple can make these things without losing so much or without having to find freezer space how can you make it smaller so that it's enough for maybe two or for two days and it can just stay in the fridge? You don't need to have freezer space. You don't need because a lot of my pre-made meals are in the freezer. And if I have a power cut, that's not going to be a good thing at all. And I'm in Scotland. They happen. So, yeah, that's, that's my cunning plan. So I'll probably be sitting doodling notes tonight just while I relax and do not an awful lot and then hopefully tomorrow I will be up bright eyed and bushy tailed I will get some shopping done I will do some breakfast with Patrick and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I've done and hopefully we'll get some cooking done as well so I hope you have a good Saturday night I am now going to plant myself back in the chair with another cup of tea have a good night